Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following personal channel. Nagpunta rito at nag-join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Nanay Amakolda, Diane Spakadalhin, Jonah Salondaga, Debs Villa, Molex Salamada, Connie Blog, Mary Mascardo Blogs na nagpa-member. Welcome sa uh, YouTube TV ni Rich TV, no? To Saki Karyon, Yans TV, Harlem O, Heart Ponsalan, and Sweetie Ding, Quadra. Guys, malapit na po talaga yung ano, yung uh, two days more to go. Anniversary na ni Rich TV and hoping na may magpapahabot pa para sa sponsorship sa pwedeng program natin. Mas ako guys, di ko alam kung uh, sino at anong pangalan ng mga bibigyan natin. Basta they are less fortunate children of our place, PWD, tsaka mga parking boys ang bibigyan natin. And then, Jollibee ang ibibigyan natin sila sa kanila. Ah, uh, salamat na sa mga nagpadala, guys. I'm really praying for you that God's blessing will be multiplied sa mga binigay ninyo para sa feeding program ng Rich TV. Ito lang naman ang ano, ang desire ng heart ko, feeding program talaga. Hindi ako nagpapa-games kasi gusto ko uh, lahat is ma-bless talaga sa feeding program. Kasi kung ano yung tinanim na natin, yun din yung aanihin natin. ba diba guys? So, God loves a triple giver. Let's bank in our money into the bank of heaven. I guess let's not proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to 1 Samuel chapter 24 verse 1 to 10. 1 Samuel chapter 24 verse 1 to 10. Okay, this is about David's spare soul's life. Uh, guys, still, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the word is used to simplify the maintain the natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in 1 Samuel chapter 24 verse 1 to 10 says, After Saul returned from pursuing the Palestines, he was told, David is in the desert of in Gidi. So Saul took 3,000 chosen men from all Israel and set out to look for David and his men near the crags and the wild goats. He came to the sheep pens along the way. A cave was there, and Saul went in to relieve himself. David and his men were far back in the cave. The man said, This is the day the Lord spoke of when he said to you, I will give your enemy into your hand, for you deal with us you wish. Then David crept up and noticed and cut off a corner of Saul's robe. Afterward, David was conscience-stricken for having cut off a corner of his robe. He said to his men, The Lord forbid that I should do such a thing to my master, the Lord's anointed, or let my hands against him, for he is the anointed of the Lord. With this word, David rebuked his men and did not allow them to attack Saul. And Saul left the cave and went his way. Then David went out of the cave and called out to Saul, My lord the king! When, the Saul, when Saul looked behind him, David bowed down and prostrated himself with his face to the ground. He said to Saul, Why do you listen when men say, David is bent on harming you? This day you have seen with your eyes how the Lord delivered you into my hand in the cave. Some urged me to kill you, but I spared you. I said, I will not lift my hands against my master's my master because he is the Lord's anointed. Amen and amen. Ang ganda ng, ng verse guys no, na binasa natin. Uh, kung ibang tao pa yun, wala na. Pinatay na yung enemy. <laughs> diba? I guess it's not pray. Father, we thank you to God that uh, you really 
uh, chosen, have chosen David to be a man after God's own heart of God. Na maski na yung king na gusto siyang ipapatay because uh, the king has interest to of him na kailangan siyang patayin. But yet, uh, siya na ang na uh, ano, uh, other way around of God. Uh, king Saul was ano was struck sa situation of God na si David ang dapat papatay sa kanya. But because of the grace or the conscience na ginawa mo, David's respect to his authority is really granted alert. Now, although there are those people na nagsusulso sa kanya na patayin si Saul but yet, hindi niya ginawa because uh, Saul is still one of your anointed. Lord, salamat sa respect na binigay ni David and sana Lord, ganyan din kami. Okay. There are situations na makaganti kami sa mga taong nalalait sa amin but thank you that instead of uh, makaganti kami, we'll just pray for them. All right, God. Lord, salamat and may we learn from this lesson as we study of your word this evening. Yes, Lord, thank you that we can commit all sins to you. This is pray. Amen and amen. Hi guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in 1 Samuel chapter 24, verse 12. It says, May the Lord judge between you and me. <laughs> Sino ba ang may masamang balak sa kanila? Di ba? Oh, yun. Okay, so the title of our devotional for this evening is God's Mercy at Work. My anger percolated when a woman mistreated me, blamed me, and gossiped about me. I wanted everyone to know what she'd done, wanted her to suffer as I'd suffer because of her be behavior. I streamed with resentment until a headache pierced my temples, but I began praying for the, my pain to go away. The Holy Spirit convicted me. How could I plot revenge while begging God for relief? If I believe He would care for me, why wouldn't I trust Him to handle the situation? Knowing that people are who are hurting often hurt other people, I ask God to help me forgive the woman and work towards reconciliation. The psalmist David understood the difficulty of trusting God while enduring unfair treatment. Though David did his best to be a loving servant, King Saul succumbed to jealously and wanted to murder him. David suffered while God worked things out and prepared him to take the throne. But still he chose to honor God instead of seeking revenge. He did his part to reconcile with Saul and left the result in God's hand. When it seems others are getting away with wrongdoing, we struggle with the injustice, but with God's mercy at work in our heart and the heart of others, we can forgive as He's forgiven us and receive the blessing He's prepared for us. Amen and Amen. Yes, guys, no? Opportunity na talaga ni David na patayin sa uh, soul, no? Kasi nga, may balak ng masama si soul because of jealousy, resentment. <laughs> ano bang kasalanan talaga ni David na papatay niya. Siguro jealous lang siya sa kay David because of the power na binigay ni Lord sa kay David. No? But later on ang nangyari, si David na rin ang uh, nagpalit sa kay King Saul sa kingdom. No? Kaya I really appreciated truly God no? choose David to be a man after God's own heart. Kasi wala. Instead na patayin si Saul, he forgive his soul. And yet, Ni-remind pa niya si Saul, ito na sana ang opportunity na patayin ka. But because you're God's anointed, hindi ko magawa. Grabe yung respect ni David. In our case, I do not know, kasi yung tao talaga, ano, uh, gaganti talaga. <laughs> sana hindi mangyari sa atin yan, guys. No? May nagkasala mo sa atin, insulted us, uh, humiliated us, and anything, but let's turn to God to pray for them. And God would do something sa situation na na-experience natin. Okay, guys, let's now proceed to the two questions. How can trusting that God is perfect, loving, good, and in control help you when sin seems to be 
prevailing. Yes. God is so gracious talaga. He will really make ways na hindi tayo makagawa ng masama, no? Gaya ng ginawa ni David. Opportunity na talaga na patay niya si ano, si Saul, but yet uh the Holy Spirit is so strong to convict him not to do so. Like sa nangyari dito sa ano, sa altar na devotional natin, no? Uh, gaganti na sana siya, but uh, he just let God do the work. Okay, so second question, why do you need to forgive and place in God's mighty and merciful hand yung mga nakasala? Siyempre, no? Para hindi tayo magkasala, sila, yung guilt feeling nila andun pa, no? Uh, Di ba? Pag may, halimbawa, may nagalit sa'yo, siya pa yung na Uh, may kasalanan sa iyo no pag makita kanya nakakatawa nako parano talaga yon galit na galit yon lalot nang makita kanya na nakasmile <laughs> babalik sa kanya yung ano yung galit oh di ba wala pa tayong ano wala pa tayong nagawang masama sa kanila but instead sila pa yung ano uh, may resentment no kung ano yung nagawa nila i guess that's not pray <clears throat> merciful god please help us help Help us trust you to determine how justice prevail. Amen and amen. Guys, sana na-enjoy kayo, no? Uh, natuwa, na bless uh, words na na-share sa atin this evening, no? I also praise God for you, see me as a mouthpiece to share God's word to you. Magaling magpunta rito, guys. Manood, makinig sa devotional na Ritz TV. And uh, I know God would surely bless us all. Let's always end the day. with God, as we start the day with God. God bless us all, guys, because it now God surely bless us ten times better. This again, Research TV. Kita-kita tayo ulit sa muli. Paalam!